Hey what's up guys, it's Joe here and I'm carrying on from where I left off and um, in this part I'm going to be showing you how to animate it um, yeah so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select both of these and we're going to hit Alt and G to group them I'm going to name it backing and then also I'm going to drag the sweep nerves into it like that and uh, the first thing we're going to animate is the uh, backing so we're going to check off the text, oh, so you can't actually see it and then um, so this is our backing so what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, coordinates like that and uh, we're just going to start animating it so I'm going to do something like that so hopefully we'll get some nice reflections on this um, so I'm just going to move it down a bit and I'm going to hit the keyframe button we go to 60 frames and we're going to put all of these values to zero um, make sure you're on the auto keyframe button so we'll just play this through see it moves up like that and we should get some nice reflections on this if I render it yeah there's a bit of reflection there and there and um, yeah, so once this has moved up like that, we've got to animate the text onto it. So I'm going to select the Mo text, then go to MoGraph and Effector, and I'm going to use the Step Effector this time. So I'm going to go to Parameter. We're going to uncheck Scale. I'm going to uh, check Rotation and Position, and we're going to put the on the position. We're going to decrease the uh, the Z the Z position and we're going to go to effect I'm just going to move this up so the uh, T actually does move I'm just going to move it so you can't even see it on the corner of the screen like that and we're going to add a tiny bit of rotation not too much and we're going to click the keyframe stopwatch button we're going to go forward to about 70 frames hit the auto keyframe button and put all of these values to zero again As you can see, the text kind of like slams onto it like that. And then now we're going to animate this uh, glowing border around the text. So we're going to go to the backing, we're going to go onto the sweep nerves, and we're going to be animating the. Uh, let's animate the end growth like that. So we're going to go to when the text hits the backing. So about 65. I'm just going to increase our timeline size here to 150 frames instead of 90. So we're going to hit the keyframe stopwatch button and go forward to about 105 frames or 100 frames. Hit the auto keyframe button and put the end growth to 100%. So now if we watch this through, oh, you need to move this keyframe up um, to the point where you want your animation to start so if I want to start at 70 frames I'll put it to 70 or if I want to start it at 65 just move this from 0 to 65 and it should start from there if I just watch this through again there we go and that looks pretty good okay so I'll just render out frame You can see that the uh, outline just moves around the text like that, and uh, yeah. So I think this is animating done. So uh, yeah, it's quite short. It's quite a short animation, but um, now we're going to render it out. So we're going to go to uh, the render settings. We're going to put the width to 1280 and the height to 720, and that's HD. Uh, that's YouTube 720p HD I'm going to uh, set the frame range to all frames and we're going to change the format to QuickTime Movie if you don't have QuickTime Movie, AVI Movie is fine I'm going to make sure you check Alpha Channel and then I'm just going to select somewhere to save it quickly Cinema 4D Tutorials Intro tutorial and save this as intro. 
and then I'll be back when it's rendered out. So um, thanks for watching guys and uh, next part I'll cover compositing in After Effects and that should be quite a long tutorial as this one was pretty short. But um, yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you later.